Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our last film, The Red Balloon, was first seen in 1956. That's the same year our next movie initially saw the light of a projector. But the two films, they couldn't be... ...very tough, cynical, compelling story about the fight game. Columbia Pictures made it, and Humphrey Bogart, on leave from his home studio of Warner Brothers, stars in it. The title is The Heart of a Fall, and it, what sets it apart from most fight films is that this time it's not a boxer who's the main focus. Instead, it's a down-and-out sports writer, played by Bogart, and he becomes part of a scheme to promote an outwardly impressive but not very talented South American boxer who needs all the help he can get. Meanwhile, Bogart's character also bumps heads with a corrupt fight promoter, played by Rod Steiger, getting himself deeper into hot water. Now, at the time the film was made, Bogart actually went on record saying he wasn't too fond of Rod Steiger's way of working. He said he liked Rod as a person, but not his acting style. Bogart was, of course, from the old school, where you learn your lines, you say them, and you move on to the next scene. Steiger, though, was a method actor who played everything very realistically, even if sometimes an audience didn't understand what that actor was saying. Bogie said that he couldn't figure out what Steiger was saying most of the time, a statement that caused considerable friction. But years later, when Rod did a private screenings interview with me, I must say he couldn't have been more complimentary about Bogart. It's something I don't think Bogart ever knew. Joining Bogart and Rod Steiger in this film is former heavyweight champ Jersey Joe Walcott, also former boxing champ Max Baer, and the wonderful actress Jan Sterling. They're all directed by Mark Robeson, the man who seven years earlier made the great fight film Champion with Kirk Douglas. So here with Academy Award nominated black and white cinematography by Burnett Guffey, the film that turned out to be the last one Bogart would ever make, The Harder They Fall. Thank you.